Today we will learn about nervous control. In the last video, we have learned about control and coordination in plants. Today, let's talk about control and coordination in animals. In animals, control and coordination is carried out by the nervous system and muscular tissue. Neuron Nervous tissue is formed from the net of many nerve cells or also called neurons. Neuron is a structural and functional unit of the nervous system. A neuron consists of a cell body, dendrite and axon. The cell body is shaped like a star in which small fibers that is dendrites and a nerve axon originates. Neuron transmits information of stimulus from one part of the body to another part through electrical impulses. Let's talk about it in detail. The sense organ in our body consists of receptors. Dendrites of neurons are present in the receptors. The dendritic tip identify the information in the environment. For example, the olfactory receptors present in our nostrils detect the smell. Gustatory receptor present in tongue identifies taste. The photoreceptor present in eyes identifies the light. The phonoreceptors present in the ear detect the sound. And the thermoreceptors present in the skin detect temperature. The information detected at the end of the dendritic tip results in a chemical reaction which creates an electrical impulse. Through dendrite, the electrical signal passes to the cell body. Travelling through the axon, it reaches the end of the axon. It causes the release of some chemicals called neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters travel through the space between the two neurons called as synapse and therefore transfer the information to the dendrites of the second neuron where it gets converted into an electrical impulse. This is how nervous impulse travels through the nervous system. In the end of the last neuron, transmits the electrical impulse to the muscle cells or gland through the synapse. The synapse that transmits the electrical impulse from neuron to the muscle cells is called neuromuscular junction. Muscle cells and glands convert the electrical impulse into action. Therefore, we call them as effector. Our body consists of three types of neuron. Sensory neuron obtain the information from the receptor present in the sensory organs. Motor neuron transport the nerve impulse to the muscle cells and glands. Relay neuron transport the nervous impulse from sensory neuron to the motor neuron. Now, let's understand how these neurons work together. Reflex action You must have felt that if you touch any hot object accidentally, the organ of touch gets pulled back immediately. Such an instant response to the stimulus without any thought is called reflex action. Such actions happen to protect the organ or body. During this reflex action, information from the receptor present in our skin reaches the sensory neuron. Information in a sensory neuron is converted into an electrical impulse. 
this information is transmitted from the transmitting neuron to the motor neuron. The connection between a sensory neuron and a motor neuron is called a reflex arc. These reflex arcs are formed in the spinal cord. All the nerves in the brain form a bundle in the spinal cord. The motor neuron transmits the signal to the effector, here the muscle cells of the arm. After receiving the signal, the action in the muscle cells is such that the hand gets pulled away from the hot object. This action is done by us without thinking. Had we spent time thinking about the response? Then there will be a delay in the action which will be sufficient to cause severe injury to the part in contact with the hot object. The spinal cord controls the reflexes and immediately responds to such a situation. Note that the information also goes to the brain. Brain Not all actions we perform are reflex actions. For example, walking, speaking, running, etc. For such actions, thinking is necessary. The actions which require thinking are called voluntary actions. In this, our brain helps us. The brain integrates various input and output information. Therefore, the brain is called the main coordinating center of our body. There are three parts of the brain, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. The forebrain is the major thinking part of brain which is made up of cerebrum, hypothalamus and thalamus. The cerebrum controls our voluntary actions. There are different areas in the cerebrum for different receptors. There are also various associative areas in the cerebrum which interpret the sensory information, information from other receptors and information already collected in the brain and make decisions in order to give response. This decision is conveyed to the motor areas which controls the movement of the voluntary muscles. The hypothalamus controls functions such as body temperature, appetite, growth, etc. Pituitary gland is present below the hypothalamus, secretes various hormones in the blood. The midbrain regulates involuntary actions in our body. These are not in our control. The hindbrain is made up of pons, medulla and cerebellum. The cerebellum controls the precision of voluntary actions and the posture and balance of the body. And medulla controls all the involuntary actions like heartbeat, salivation, vomiting, etc. which are not in our control. The spinal cord is present below the medulla. Protection of brain and the spinal cord The brain and spinal cord are soft organs. The brain is protected by a box of bones called as cranium or also called skull and by the cerebrospinal fluid located inside the skull. This fluid absorbs shocks and protects the brain. Similarly, the spinal cord is protected by vertebral column or backbone. Central Nervous System and Peripheral Nervous System The brain and spinal cord makes up the central nervous system. The central nervous system receives and integrates various information from the body. In order to transmit the response signal 
for the information received various nerves comes out of the brain and spinal cord the nerves originating from the brain are called cranial nerves and the nerves coming out of the spinal cord are called spinal nerves peripheral nervous system is formed from the cranial and spinal nerves peripheral nervous system transmit information between the central nervous system and other parts of the body and causes muscle movements movement in the muscle we know that muscle cells contain special types of proteins when the nerve impulse reaches the muscle cell by peripheral nervous system the electrical impulse changes both the shape and arrangement of the protein due to which the shape of the muscle changes which causes the muscular movement thus the response has given thus the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system control and coordinate various functions of the body so today we learned about nervous control Thank you.